You spend 250, 450 bucks, 600 bucks on the car, you'll keep it for that much longer. Um, just because it looks nice, I swear it's a thing. Uh, we got Garrett Thomas with the 20 bucks. Is it worth getting any cosmetic work done to my Lexus LS I plan to drive into the ground? No. Um, 100K plus miles, paint all swirled. To um, rims chewed up from female owner, interior interior pretty mint, uh, paint correction, question mark. Yeah, do paint correction. Do paint correction and get your wheels fixed. Um, if you go to a large Lexus, like you can get it done. A wheel is 75 to 125 bucks a wheel. They'll come back mint. Do it. it. And then uh, have a, yeah, have someone that, so have a younger guy. Give, him, give the younger guy the business and do a, uh, a paint correction on it. I would. Make you feel better. Keep honestly, you spend 250, 450 bucks, 600 bucks on the car. You'll keep it for that much longer, um, just because it looks nice. I swear it's a thing. Also, uh, what do you think about 2023 plus Super Duty trucks? Um, good luck getting them. They're I'm gonna wait for them to come down a little. They're a little ridiculous. Um, they're playing silly games. I got one. I got a 20. I got a 22. Platinum. Twenty one I have a twenty one platinum. I have a twenty one F three fifty Super Duty diesel crew cab platinum. Um I like it a lot. Um I don't use it that much anymore because I'm I'm daily in the van, but uh I bought it for a preservation of value and I wasn't wrong. Um so I paid I think I paid like eighty for it and they're trading for around like seventy one grand wholesale, seventy two grand wholesale. So um to drive a car for two years and I put forty thousand miles on it, so to drive the car for two years for eight grand ish. Um but I don't drive it as much. Um, but they, the new ones, one hundred and five thousand, etc. That I, I can't be, I can't be getting behind this. Shit. I think, I think some stuff's gonna come in a repo soon. Not repo. I think people are gonna be doing voluntary. Cars are coming back, basically. Um, I still think they'll play some games. So they, they got to deflate a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, I take the seventeen grand off, for, uh, even though the Dodges are total pieces of. Shit, but Ford will have to drop their pants soon. Ford and Chevy are still playing hardball with the Denali's and the and the but in the premium trim level stuff is the stuff you want to buy. Unfortunately, because it's easy to trade out of, they're they're like they don't make a lot of them, etc. Yada yada. I'm not you know that's why I bought it. And uh, the the dudes out west will take the uh, the the fancier ones a lot easier. That's what I heard. Buddy buddies of mine have been doing it for three years. I'm just copying what they do. They buy like King Ranches, drive them for two years, smoke cigars in them, rock them, dump bags of concrete in them, and then sell them for like ten grand less two years later. And I've seen them do it like six years in a row. We get John McDonald with the tw uh, 50 bucks. Hi, Jeez. Hi, Nick and Chris. Please tell my friend Colin to drive his mint Saturn with 112K into the ground and not buy a 2024 CX-50. Love you all. God bless. Yeah, keep driving. If you have a car that runs mint, don't ever get rid of it. You get, get rid of it when... Get rid of it in the end. In the end days. when it when it when it dies if you have a car it, that is a sin you will be stricken down ashley rodriguez uh yo chris and nick the deal on the rolls royce corniche fell through thoughts on the new maybach gls 600 instead i sold a maybach gls 600 um those yeah why don't we get a cpo Maybach GLS 600. I like the S a little bit better, if I'm being real with you. It's much cooler of a car. The GLS is like straight up a GLS. It is fat. The rear seats are dope. Um, yeah, those are cool. Those are pretty cool. They're like 220. I think you can get one used. I think they're coming in like 75,000 off. So they're soft as baby shit right now, which is good. So I like that a lot better. A GLS would, uh, they're comfortable. People like them. Um, not a great car to buy new, a, a, a super great car to buy when like just used. None of them were driven hard, so it doesn't matter. Um, so you can get one CPO. I can find you that car all day long. All day long, I can get you that car. Um, that's I like that buy a little bit better if we're looking for something totally over the top. And uh, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, we got Fit is in with the 30 Australian. Uh, what's up, Crick? Yep. <laughs> is an M4 uh, from the last series of viable daily driver or is, is the model just not worth the money the model's not worth the money they're tanking like crazy 20 grand off it's one of the worst uh high end um it's not good the m4 is like one is is dying my buddy who i have a good friend shout out timmy pina 
Um, but he shoots it straight for me. Um, M4, M4 cabs, they're just not that special. And they sold for a lot of money, and they're, they're, they're tanking a little bit. So um, value-wise, you might be able to get one. When they tank, that's not bad, but you, you want to, you, they're going to slide off a cliff a little bit. So, um, yeah, they're, they're going like with like normal miles, um, normal daily driver miles, like eight, 9,000 light mileage story for a M4 or for a normal car, not an M4, but uh, they're doing, you know, 25, 30 grand off right now. They're Got, uh, Jay Garrison with the 50 bucks. What's up, guys? I just bought a 1986 blue Toyota pickup that's in great shape and 150K miles for 7,200 from a guy. If you search 1986 Toyota pickup cars in bids, uh, it'll come up on Google Images from when he bought it. Thoughts on modest mods? No lowering. Is it a two wheel drive? Um, cool, cool truck, 22R motor, or is it the six? No, I wouldn't be if it's a, if he's no lowering it. Just clean bone stock, my man. Bone stock, original OEM. Uh, look up the highest examples that sold recently of that truck on Bring a Trailer and copy that. Like the uh, maybe the bumpers, like, but no, no upgrades. Maybe a radio. Maybe the, the radio and the two the door speakers should be cool. That, that's the best. High end wiper blades. Um, Radio is usually my go-to. A new set of tires, uh, uh, you know, a fresh set of rubber. Good brakes, keep the brakes on it. But uh, yeah, clean it, steam it, keep the thing in good shape. Nice piece, nice find. It must be nice, seven grand. It, mu it must be very nice. Uh, we got Jimothy Spevens with the 25 bucks. Nick, my 93 Miata with 217K uh, spun a bearing today. Uh, got it for 2K when my NSX broke, ran perfectly for seven months. Best beater ever, 10 out of 10. Good motor plus trans with 40K is 1,500. Fix it, scrap it, or go crazy and K-swap it for fun. Fix it. Just fix it. That's your cheapest way out. No. I think. Yeah, I don't swap it. You start swapping it, you get into some... Don't swap. You know it's not easy. You know, come on, man. You know it's not easy. So, uh... You love it. I mean, listen to how much you love it. You're nearly glowing when you talk about it. <laughs> like, do you, you want to leave it on the side of the road? <laughs>